Hey guys, welcome back here to the channel, and today is Call of the Wild's five year anniversary. It's been out for five years on the dot today, which is awesome. Can't believe it's been out five years already. <clears throat> Pretty crazy, still going strong. Best hunting game out there, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree, but uh, yeah, and yesterday on the EW live stream, they revealed the final weapon of the modern weapons pack, and it was a AR-10. 308, which everybody expected. Pretty much everybody expected it to be a 308. And I'm really excited for this. It's more powerful. It's got better penetration, better expansion, uh, quicker fire rate, and it's got less recoil than the M1. So everything's a little bit upgraded from the M1. It's it's kind of like the M1, but it's upgraded. It's like a it's got like a step up from the M1 which is awesome. I definitely think it's going to dethrone the M1. Can't wait to get it and use it. Um, definitely going to be good for grinding whitetail and fallow deer and red deer and stuff like that that I grind. So, so excited to get um, that. It releases, supposed to release next Tuesday simultaneously, so that'll be awesome. Hopefully it does. I'm not going to do a whole video talking about it and everything, but I did want to mention it and give my thoughts on it a little bit. And like I said, today's the fifth year anniversary for Call of the Wild, which is awesome. But Right here, we do have a level 5 fallow deer. Guaranteed troll with that rack. And we drop him with a heart shot there from the 303. And we're going to pick him up right here. And he is a troll. Like I said, he was guaranteed to be a troll with that rack. 227.80. Uh, a little bit unfortunate that he trolled, but still a level 5 fallow deer. Right here, we have a level 5 feral goat. And we shoot him there with a 30-30. You make a perfect shot. And we take another shot here, but that one don't hit. But yeah, I figured I'd switch it up a little bit instead of just taking him with the Mosin and taking him with the 3030, which was nice. We're going to claim him right here. And he did troll, unfortunately, 202.90. So a pretty big troll. We double lunged him there with the 3030. This is my least favorite fur type anyway, the brown fur type. And the one and only diamond fur goat I have is the brown fur type. And like I said, it's my least favorite fur type. I think it looks pretty ugly, in my opinion, honestly. Looks pretty ugly. Uh, it would have been nice to get a Diamond Feral Goat with the 3030, but I'm not too sad that he trolled, especially since he's my least favorite fur type. And right here, guys, we actually have a Piebald Whitetail Doe. We make a hard shot there with the 303. Uh, I was checking my zones for the Whitetail and some other animals on Rancho because I was making sure there wasn't no trophies, diamonds, or rares, or something like that because it's getting reset. One of the maps that's getting reset with the update next Tuesday. So I didn't want to leave any diamonds or rares or anything, especially for the whitetail. Because uh, you never know, there could have been a great one on there or something. And I didn't want to leave any trophies and them just disappear with the update. But we are going to pick her up right here. And there she is, a little piebald doe heart shot there. I didn't tax her or anything because I have a ton of piebald whitetail in the lodge. So no, not really a reason to tax her. But if you didn't know, with the update next Tuesday... Quattro, Rancho, Mississippi, and Verhonga are all getting pop resets and zone redistributions and stuff like that, like Leighton Lakes did with the Rancho update, I believe it was. Leighton Lakes had it done with some update. I think it was the Rancho update, but I'm not sure. But they're all getting zone re redistributions and pop resets like Leighton did. Nice little piebald doe. Haven't got a uh, white tail trophy in quite a while, so it's kind of nice to get her when I was just checking my zones. Right here, guys, we have another albino red deer. It's a level 6 stag. We hit him there on the first shot, missed the second shot, and actually hit another deer behind him. And we're going to pick him up right here. And 153, we was almost too high on that shot, but 153, so a decent way under gold, unfortunately, but just level 6. Nice little albino red deer, another albino for the grind. Hopefully that great one will show up soon. I'm getting sick of grinding red deer, honestly. But that's going to be it for this one. Had a few highlights to show and wanted to give my thoughts a little bit on the new AR-10 308 that we're getting. I'm so excited to get this, but... Yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.